We are going to do an active reading assignment stack. Turn to page 96. The thing about an active reading, and you did these throughout the course of the year, is that you pay attention to exactly what the text is telling you to do. Because what the text is going to do is it's going to hone in on certain skills. And so if you just read it and do the comprehension questions, then you're missing other important factors that you should be taking care of within the text that are going to sharpen your skills. Okay? So today we're looking at, we're going to be marking up the text. So that's another name for annotation. We're going to be making some inferences. We're going to have some um, parts where we stop and we do reflection. And we're going to have some analysis pieces. Also, I think some pieces in here deal with character. So the focus. It says, as the story opens, Panchito describes the end of the strawberry picking season. It says, mark it out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to annotate. So you're going to use your highlighter. So it says, as you read, underline words and phrases that tell you how Panchito feels about the end of the season and his family's upcoming move. Then it says, an example is highlighted. So down there where you see where it's kind of dark and it says, and the thought of not hearing them again saddened me. That's one of them. So you can highlight it because you can't, you can't really see it because we don't have color. So highlight that sentence in that box where it says, and the thought of not hearing them again sad me. That's the last sentence in the box. Because I know it's kind of hard to see. So it says, as you read, Underline words and phrases that tell how Panchito feels about the end of the season and his family's upcoming move. How Panchito feels about the end of the season and his family's upcoming move. So I'm going to read aloud and you're going to read, you're going to follow in the text. As you're following in the text, you are going to highlight areas that shows or tells you how Panchito feels about the end of the strawberry picking season and about his family moving again, okay? So here we go. When the sun had tired and sunk behind the mountains, Ito signaled us that it was time to go home. Ya es hora, he yelled in his broken Spanish. Those were the words I waited for 12 hours a day, every day, seven days a week, week after week. And the thought of not hearing them again saddened me. As we drove home, Papa did not say a word. With both hands on the wheel, he stared at the dirt road. So I see some of you have, have highlighted. Some of you have not. So you were supposed to highlight how Panchito felt about his upcoming move and how he felt about the strawberry picking season coming to an end. Take a minute. Go back and look at those areas. So I see that some of you have found some of those feelings. Who would like to share at least one? Prince. Um, one, Tell us what page you're on, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm on page 97. Mm -hmm. And the last sentence, it says, I lay my about how much I Very good. Raise your hand if you had that. If you didn't have that, make sure you highlight that. Will you read it again for us, Prince? I laid, I laid in my bed thinking about how much I hated this year. Okay, good. So give me another one. Jamila. I'm on page 96. Okay. And in the box, Okay, good. Those were the days. So he was like, you know, I'm ready to get this over, kind of ready to get this over with, over with. Good. So, if, the, if you didn't catch some of those, then go back and, <coughs> excuse me, and highlight those. Okay? So all of these were dealing with Panchito's feelings. Some of them were implicit, right? Some of them we had to kind of infer about. But some of them were explicitly stated. Right there on the page, this is how I feel, okay? It brought tears to my eyes. I hated it. 
And you can make some inferences around, you know, when he heard Edo's voice, the sadness, right? So we can also make inferences. I like the way you all did that. Take on another 10 seconds. Catch up. Nine, eight, seven, 